guys and welcome back to my channel so I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever but I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas today is New Year's Eve I'm having a really really low-key New Year's Eve this year I'm just at my parents house as you guys can see and honestly I'm not doing much because I've been sick again for the past like week and a half ish if you guys remember I was kind of sick uh, as I was leaving Spain and then I was kind of okay for like one day and then the next day I got the stomach flu and that's what I've been dealing with so I had a fever and I couldn't eat anything I was laying in bed all day I was basically a wreck and I'm still not a hundred percent healed but I'm pretty much I'm pretty much there so one of my resolutions for 2019 is to improve my immune system so that I don't get sick as much because I'm really tired of it so anyway today I'm just going to be having a productive day I'm really in the process of packing for Tuscaloosa and for this next semester of college I wanted to show you guys a haul of some things that I've picked up recently because I've picked up so many things for this upcoming semester of school kind of mixed with some what I got for Christmas pieces so I want to do a little bit of a haul as well and then I just want to do some packing I want to clean my makeup brushes and something I also wanted to do in this video is share with you guys my New Year's resolutions for 2019 and kind of just do a little year in review type of thing um, I'm towards the end of this video so that is the plan for this vlog and I hope you guys like it so I'm gonna start off with my little haul okay so the first thing that I got for Christmas is actually a gift for myself and it is the iPad Pro and uh, I got it in space gray and it's the 11 inch size so the smaller one um, and then my parents actually gifted me the pencil for Christmas which is really really sweet I um, I'm really grateful because I was definitely planning on getting the pencil because I really want to use the iPad for most of my notes and a lot of just YouTube planning. It's going to make my life a lot easier with taking notes with PowerPoints or signing contracts, things like that. It's a lot easier on the iPad. So I actually have it opened right here to show you guys. So this is what mine looks like. It is just simple and cute and space gray. And then the pencil just attaches on the side. I've already downloaded the GoodNotes app to use for my note taking. And I've made different sections for YouTube, lifestyle, anything related to my internship. And then I made a folder called semester six, which has all of my five classes that I'm taking this semester. Okay, so the next thing I got is a planner. This is from my mom. And and it just says plan ahead on it and I love monthly um, planners honestly for me the monthly planners work a lot better for me than the daily ones because I honestly feel like I have enough room in the squares to write you know homework assignments that are due videos that I want to go up important meetings is a lot um, simpler for me to look at it's less um, stuff that I actually have to write and it takes up less space in my backpack ideally in a perfect world these would be the two things that I use is for notes and for um, my plans most of the time next my mom got me a 365 day devotion so I'm excited to start doing this tomorrow because tomorrow's January 1st. So that's crazy So the next item is the last item that I'm gonna show you guys from my parents and it is the Dyson V6 cordless vacuum. It is so much easier to just take it off the wall and run around my apartment for five minutes rather than have to use my old one which is like this giant core they have to unwrap and then have to plug in and then it only stretches so far so you have to keep plugging it into different outlets that is a thing of the past for me now so I'm super excited about this gift so now I'm just gonna move on to the normal haul items that I personally picked up for myself the first thing is this purse um, it's still wrapped up on the strap because I want to keep it nice but this is just gonna be the bag that I use for the spring and the summertime. Next, I picked up this perfume set. This is Viva La Juicy. This is a scent that I wore when I was in high school and I don't know why I stopped wearing it, but I just got this set that came with the 
shower gel, body lotion, and then a really big size of the perfume. It really smells so good. Nothing is even opened and I can smell it through the box. I've always been on the hunt for a signature scent and I just really fell in love with this scent again. Then I just picked up a travel toiletries and makeup bag set just because I'm gonna be doing some traveling and spring break and also the summer so I just wanted to get a simple one, a new one, because my one from this semester is kind of beat up. And then I got two pairs of shoes. The first pair is just these uh, Adidas. They're just white and really, really cute. So I'm excited about these. And I just wore sneakers a lot uh, this past semester, but the ones that I bought got really trashed. So I wanted to get a new pair to replace them. And the same with my black heeled booties that I always wore that were suede. I wanted to get the exact same style, but in leather boots. So I went on this search for them and I really found the perfect pair. These are so cute and they look pretty much identical to my old boots. They're just leather like I wanted and I love these so much. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is my comforter set that I'm going to be using in my apartment for this year because I move into my new apartment in a couple of days and originally I was going to go with a different comforter set if you guys watched my college haul from this August, but I exchanged it for this one just because I really like white comforters. I think they're really simple and clean, so I just decided to go with that, and I'm just really trying to keep a lot of my um, new apartment really minimalistic and really organized because I'm really tired of clutter, so I have gotten rid of so many things in the last couple of days. It's unreal. I have this giant donation pile um, on my landing right now, and I'm gonna be doing more um, decluttering once I get to Tuscaloosa in a couple days, but this is just the beginning. So anyway, that is all for the haul. I'm going to go ahead and start kind of packing away some more things, and that is what I'm going to be doing for the next hour or so. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick pan to show you guys my progress. Most of the stuff in the boxes is just like kind of random. There's not a ton of organization to it, but um, yeah, I have a lot of boxes packed up. I have my contacts, a lot of just toiletries, purses, bags, shoes, and this box I just have um, hangers for my closet. And then over in here, we have my three suitcases that have all my clothes. The clothes up here are just the clothes I'm wearing for the rest of the week, so I wanted to keep it separate. Um, and here is just medicine and more toiletries in this bag. And then this is just going to be my last minute box where I throw uh, anything that I might randomly need. I'm also taking this uh, little basket that has some random winter jacket type things, scarves, hats, and yeah, so that is my progress. I'm pretty much done packing. I think that everything else I'm just going to leave here um, in my room at home. And that is my current progress for right now. Okay guys, so my mom got home early from work today and since I didn't really eat like a real lunch, we're basically just making an early dinner. Um, I'm cooking up some chicken and some veggies. I'm practicing my cooking skills because I'm trying to cook more in 2019. So we're just cooking dinner and then after that, I'm probably going to organize my room a little bit more. And then I'm also gonna share my resolutions with you guys. It's party, party. <laughs> really not party. But right now we're all just gonna start cooking and it'll be a good time. That's Welch's. Non-alcoholic everyone. We're G-rated on my channel. Oh, I thought we'd get lit. God, my dad's really trying to do vodka shots with me. sitting here outside on my little patio type thing. Um, the sun is out still. It's a really beautiful day. It's really warm outside as you guys can see based on what I'm wearing right now. But I decided that I wanted to film my New Year's resolutions clip out here just because 
I don't know, it felt nice and just peaceful. And I wrote all of my New Year's resolutions down just now. I made a little um, document on my iPad. I'll show you guys. So I just wrote a list of my top goals that just came to mind initially. I think that honestly, some of them are going to change as time progresses. I'm going to think of new ones, obviously. That's the thing about goals is they constantly can change. But these are just the top things that came to my mind initially. So I'm going to just run through them and kind of explain them. The first resolution is to make an effort to meet new people. This was on my list for last year and I really do feel like I accomplished this, but I'm obviously going to put it on my list again because all the people that I met in this past year, I am so freaking grateful for and obviously I want to continue to meet new people. This semester I'm planning on joining some new organizations and things like that so hopefully I'll meet more people through that but of course I'm going to put that on my list again. So my second one is to eat healthy and to cook more and eat out less. I'm trying to lim limit myself to one um, time per week that I go to eat out. I don't know if I'll end up doing that. I don't think I'm going to count like small things like if i get a smoothie bowl on campus or something like that as eating out i think by eating out i mean like an actual meal like i'm going to some restaurant to eat out i only want to do that once a week i really would ideally like to cook the most of the week um, and i want to cook healthy stuff so really i have made a huge huge list of so many different meal options for me to try out this semester and obviously i want to practice my cooking skills and i think that i'll be good tonight i'm actually cooking dinner with my mom so i'll get a little practice in tonight but um yeah i think that i just want to cook more and eat healthier that's always on my list and number three is to work out three to four times a week i really want to get on a good exercise schedule right now i think that i'm going to do two days a week of cardio for like 45 minutes and maybe a small 50 15 minute strength training um, at the end of that and then the other two days a week I think I'm gonna do one that's sort of flexibility muscle toning so maybe yoga or Pilates um, and then one that is uh, just kind of a random workout maybe hit maybe cardio maybe strength and I think the way that I'm gonna accomplish that is by joining a small group for this organization called charge which is a fitness organization on my campus so basically you meet with your small group basically one hour a week and so that's gonna be my fourth workout um, just random one so it's always really fun stuff so I'm excited about that and then obviously the other one yoga I really want to become more flexible I used to be really really flexible I still kind of am but I just think stretching and yoga is good for you so I'm gonna really try and do that this year next I'd really like to have a better sleep schedule in a perfect situation I would go to bed at 9 and wake up at 7 and I know that's a crazy amount of sleep but I personally feel like I thrive off of nine or ten hours of sleep a night i for some reason don't feel rested with eight so i think that if my schedule allows it and i can fall asleep um i've been really falling asleep early because of the time change coming back to america so i think that if i can continue with it and go to bed around nine or ten and wake up at seven or eight that would be ideal for me just because i think that i stay healthier i have better focus i have more energy um, if I get a lot of sleep, so I'd really like to do that. So the next one is to take really good care of my things and then the space that I'm in. I notice that I'm really affected by my environment, so if my environment is really messy, it makes me feel like I can't think, I can't focus or get anything done. So I really would like to keep my apartment just kind of like my happy place this year and just clean it. Um, do a little bit of tidying up every day and then deep clean it maybe on the weekends just so that it feels like really like a haven to me and I can make my space really productive and it's really my place that I can sleep and get homework done and invite friends over and cook. I don't know, it sounds simple, but this is really the first time in my life where I really, really, really want to do it. So I think because I really want to do it, I actually will be able to achieve it this year. So just keeping my place clean and happy, basically. So YouTube goals for 2019, I would love to post two videos videos a week in this upcoming semester. Obviously during the summer when I'm interning I think one video a week is more realistic for me so um, I just really want to get a lot of content out for you guys maybe even three videos a week if I can. Um, I think that I just want to really vlog a lot more. I know I didn't vlog a ton um, last semester because I was studying abroad but since I'll be back at Bama and I'll have a little bit more of a set routine uh, I think that'll be a lot easier for me to vlog so that's one of my YouTube goals and then I'd also really love to hit 200,000 subscribers 
subscribers. I think that I'm really happy with where my channel's at right now, and I just want to continue doing what I've been doing. And so yeah, 200,000 would be awesome, but anything I'd be happy with. So next is my academic goals. I would love to get a 4.0 this semester. I always really try to maintain a 4.0 or above a 4.0 in college. I know that um, my major is not as difficult as other majors, so it hasn't been super, super hard to maintain it. I mean, it definitely requires a lot of work to get a 4.0, so that's why I put it on the list, but um, I think that my classes this semester will be really challenging, so if I don't get a 4.0, I'm not gonna be upset about it. Another goal that I have is to start trying new hobbies. One of the hobbies I want to do this year is to learn a new language. It was really amazing to be in Spain, and I wish, honestly, that I learned more Spanish than I actually did, but even just communicating with the Spanish that I know was really, really cool, so I definitely want to learn a new language. I would love to save a specific amount of money. Um, this year I had a saving amount goal and I was able to achieve that. I had a goal that I wanted to achieve prior to study abroad and then I also had a budget that I wanted to stay within during study abroad so I was able to do both of those things so this upcoming year I just have a new goal for myself um, but obviously it is expensive just being a student and traveling and things like that but just budgeting smart and not spending my money um, as much on food because that is literally all I spend my money on is food and I take myself out to eat a lot so I just want to cool it a little bit on that. Next goal would be to travel more. Uh, this was also a goal for 2018 and I definitely traveled so much but I love love traveling so much and so I would love to travel more and I already have some trips planned for this spring as I said I'm going to Europe again this spring break and I want to travel this summer and this fall as well so that's always on my list. I also want to grow my faith. This is I think going to be a goal that I have every single year because I always want to be um, growing and becoming closer to God. So I think having some quiet time every day to read my devotions or read my Bible would be really good for me. And my last resolution for 2019 is just to continue to be present, continue to affirm every day that I'm capable of change and that I'm not the same person that I was yesterday. And so I don't want to look at the past to define the future. I just want to know that every single day is a new opportunity for growth and a new challenge. Yeah, just stop overthinking things and just have more joy. Um, I definitely feel like there were seasons of my life this year that were really, really challenging for me and there was also seasons of my life where I was the happiest I've ever been. If I was 100% happy and I was never sad, then I don't think I would be as grateful for the happy times. I'm excited for this next semester at Bama. I started kind of feeling like I'm not going necessarily to the exact same place and I know that a lot of it's going to be the same, but I know it's going to feel different because I've changed. The last time I was in Tuscaloosa was in May so it definitely is going to feel different to me and obviously I'm going to have a new routine and new classes but I'm just excited also to see my friends and to be on campus again because I really did miss it. I'm looking forward to this next chapter in 2019. I know that I probably am rambling way too much so I'm going to end this off now <laughs> because I don't want to bore you guys but thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I put this clip at the end because I knew that I'm literally talking so much. So um, yeah, please comment down below what y'all's resolutions are for 2019. I really want to hear them. My next vlog you're gonna see is me going to Alabama. So the Bama vlogs are coming back. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for them for a long time. So I hope you're looking forward to this next video and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.